hi guys welcome to the channel my name is Dipankar and in this video we will talk about how we can invoke integration procedure from Apex right so there are two ways how we can uh, invoke the integration from Apex the first way is implementing the velocity of an interface to and the second one is omnistudio dot integration procedure service dot run integration service right so before doing anything let's uh, just go back to our salesforce omni studio org and let's review those two integration procedures that are going to call in this particular lecture so i have my omni studio org open over here and uh, in the last session we have created this integration procedure right so if i come and preview here this integration procedures uh, take account id as an input right and if i click on execute this give some output right and the output is coming inside list action right so there are three contacts coming here but let me configure that i think there are a lot of contacts that should be coming i think i have put some limit over there in the data raptor let it open once mm -hmm. okay so yeah here it is so let me delete this filter and let's go back and execute our integration procedure so basically if you see there are a lot of data coming over here and all of the data coming inside the list action one right so this is a, an integration procedure and we are going to call this integration procedure right so before calling this integration from the fx right so let's understand what the, are the things we are gonna need right so to call this integration procedure from apex we need as input parameters right and if we click here or edit as a json it gives you a json right and there is also something called as options right this is also a json you might need the option uh, sometimes uh, based on your requirements right and also it gives you the output right and again this output is also a json right so we we need two things the input as a json and the options as a json and it will give us the output as a json right so let's come back to this documentation and right and let's try to utilize this particular example how we can use this example and call our integration procedure that's we have built over here already from the apex right so i have the uh, already opened my dev console so right so if you come to file and you can click on new apex class and let's say I'll give it a name as raw integration procedure from Apex, right? And again, this is a class, so basically we need an method also. So I'll name is public static void, and maybe we'll name it something as call integration procedure right so we we have our uh, class and method ready right so let's try to see how we can call our integration procedure from this method so basically let's come to this documentation and i'll copy this entire example that have they provided here and uh, i will also explain why they have uh, done like this so let me okay okay so basically if you see there are three things in input output and options right the input output and options the both are map of string and object right and here we just need an input right and maybe there uh, you can also pass the options right but we are not passing it here in this example and again whatever the uh, on integration procedure executes right after the execution of the integration procedure it will gives us an output right so let's remove everything so basically this is a skeleton that that they have provided us to run our own integration procedure right so we have our input over here we have our options and we just need to get the output right so let's come back to our uh, integration procedure if you see our integration procedure requires an account id right 
so basically what we can do we all can also make it as dynamic i'll name is a string account id right and we just need this account id as input right so uh, to populate the input what we can do is there is a option input dot put so this is how you can put a, a key value pair inside a map right so the key should be account id and the value should be the account id that we are getting as a uh, parameter right so we are just putting this account id over here right and if you come over over here i i don't think we just need any of the options right uh, without even modifying the options if we click on execute we are getting the output right so let's come over here and let's try to see what's the error we are getting okay so it says input does not exist so it should be ip input okay so basically in this map we are just adding the account id right and this integration procedure right it will just take this account id as an input and it will give us the output all right so we have given the input over here the next thing that uh, is required the integration procedure name right we haven't configured it so if we come over here it says the type underscore subtype right so for our case let's come back to the properties let's go to procedure configuration the type should be sample here right so let's just replace the type with sample and again the subtype as loop block exercise right and we are also trying to debug the ip output right so let's do one more thing we can also serialize this so whatever uh, output we are getting over here we can give json dot maybe serialize pretty right and in place of o we can write our ip output right so let's try and click on save so okay so the error has now gone so let me explain it again so we have the our integration procedure type and subtype over here that we are passing as procedure name then our input we are passing the account id as the account id will be getting from here right as a dynamic input and that's uh, the reason for that is the input parameters takes account id as an key right and uh, apart from that we don't need anything this is how a basic integration procedure uh, can be called from apex right and again to call it from apex we just need to go to the anonymous window so the first thing um, we have this method as a starting method so without instance uh, instantiating an object we can call this as well right so the class name is run integration procedure from apex and the call integration procedure right uh, is the method name and this needs an parameter right this needs an account id so let me paste the account id over here let's come to this dev console and paste it over here and one more thing let's try to remove this ip output over here let's just try to print the serialized data all right uh, let's give it some time okay it's saved and now let's click on execute so if we click on this debug only we can see we are getting all the data from the integration procedure service right and all this is coming as a list action one right and the same data we are getting over here as well right so this is one of the integration procedure right so let's try to call the other integration procedure as well the reason i'm uh, going to call the other integration procedure because it takes an additional output as well right so let's try to configure that as well so this uh, also needs a first name over here right so what we can do we can pass the first name and it should be string and similarly whatever uh, the uh, input we are passing over here let me copy and paste it and the first name should be again the first name we are getting over here and 
the value should be coming from here as a first name right and again let's uh, go to the uh, procedure configuration and the type and subtype is demo and transform account contact details right so in place of the type let me put over here demo and as the subtype let's uh, put transform account contact details right <coughs> and one more thing uh, we can do we can also make it dynamic right we will also uh, write string and the procedure name over here right so now we will we don't need this variable anymore right so we'll just pass it from the anonymous window right so let me click on save i think it should go away often click saving yeah it's gone so we need the account id we need the first name and we need the procedure name right so let's go to our anonymous window and try to run it right so the first name let's not give anything and again the integration procedure name that should be demo transform account contact details right so let's click on execute so if you come over here it also gives you all this data right so you can also see there is something called a step data right so what if you want to trim this strip data so i think we can do one thing uh let's say we can write a map right step data is a map map of string object step data equals to ip output dot get step data right again let's suppose we also want to return this as a value right so in place of saying void over here we can write map of string comma object and we will also write over here return step data right It says illegal uh, assignment from object to map in line number 15 string object. So again, we have to make a type casting over here. We will write okay. This is map of string comma object, and let's try to save it again. right the error is now gone and let's try to execute it again so i'll go to anonymous window and click on execute so it still uh, debugs the step data right so in place of enter data let's try to debug the step data i'll click on control s i'll go to anonymous window and i'll click on execute again so before that let it save okay it got saved and i'm clicking on execute so if we go to debug here right it does not have the step data over here right so that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.